The crisis situations in Edo State seem to have no end in sight as there have been speculations that Governor Godwin Obaseki is planning to defer from all progressive Congress APC to the People's Democratic Party PDP. This report came up as the Edo State government has published a story of an impending mass defection from the APC in the state. The Edo State Governor was disqualified by the APC from contesting the party's governorship primary last week. And joining us to put more perspective on these is uh, Kazim Afegwa, a PDP member and a former commissioner for information in Edo State via phone. And also here live in the studio is Tony Usidame, the convener of I Am Edo Movement. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for having me. And good evening, Kazima Febu. I hope you can hear me now. Yeah, Kazim, can you hear me? Okay, uh, we'll, come, we'll connect back to you. Let's start with you. I am Edo Movement. What does that mean? Um, where is, are you directing us this time around? Because I think I read your statement two days ago. When you launched it, or what did it you do? It was actually yesterday. Um, okay. I am Edo Movement is a movement of young Edo professionals in and outside the country who are tired of the way things are happening in the states, a situation where a demographic minority decide um, the lots of Edo people. I am Edo Movement is a movement that wants to return power back to the people because in every state, without the people, there can be no democracy. And we want to mobilize citizen participation in the electoral process and in governance, because the political actors should be answerable to the people. No single entity or party should be more important than the electorate when it comes to affairs of the state. And this is what the Ayamedo movement is about to galvanize the Edo electorate to take control of their own destiny because true power lies in the hands of the people and not individuals, godfathers, or uh, entities, parties, as it were. Even as you have refused to mention where your leanings are, no, I think of, it's of, clear. Of course, from, from of, your, of, co your... of course. I am Edo Movement stands for good governance. And based on the records, uh, of performance of the incumbent governor, Governor Godwin Obaseki. Um, every well-meaning Edo son and daughter should support the governor in his second term bid because his achievements are clear for all to see. Across education, across healthcare, um, agriculture, uh, manufacturing and industry, do even the party? civil service reform. How can he do? Be, we be, have be, a party be, system. Be, yes, of course, of course. And he's going to contest. It's not clear uh, right now, as the governor has told us, um, his supporters, to, to wait for further directives. The um, issue is that the APC has disqualified him from contesting under their platform, but they, have, they, they don't have the right to decide whether or not he contests, as it were. All of the other parties in Edo State, because they see the good works that the governor has done, are cutting him right now. Okay. Everybody wants to have him on their side because they want to see him continue to deliver the dividends of democracy as we have never seen Thank in Edo you. State. Uh, 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 that is more than an opening statement. Let me speak to Kazim. Okay, uh, why we're waiting for Kazim to respond to that. Now, as we speak, the major opposition party is PDP. And three call them strong candidates, have been screened. These are people who have been holding the party for God knows when. Are you saying that they are just there just to you know, count numbers and uh, they shouldn't be given opportunity to come up? This, this is a democracy. Everybody has a right to contest you know, for any position that they aspire to. At the end of the day, there are processes in place in deciding um, who is the flag bearer of a party. We believe that based on the credential of all of the people who are coming out, especially because of the record of performance of the governor, we believe that he deserves a second term in office to continue the good works that he has already started in Edo State. 
Okay. So the, everybody is free to contest. It's it's this is what the, this is what makes democracy um, a beautiful thing. But when a few people want to subvert the will of the majority, that is what we would not stand for, mm. because it is the voice of the people that should count. And though people would no longer sit aside and let career politicians or self-acclaimed godfathers decide their fate. This is why I am a do movement and but all where, where were the, well Where were the professionals when this man was single-handedly Peaked and uh, in court, imposed on the people four years ago. It was not imposed on the people. He went through a primaries that he won. And why was it presented? Why, why was it was presented? It clear, was an anointed candidate of the sitting governor there in Oshomo. It is possible to have preferences for certain candidates, but if those candidates don't have the wherewithal, they don't have the qualification, then people would not. No, back I'm saying, them. why didn't you people call them? Why didn't you call such men? Godfathers then. Why didn't you use all these words that you are using for them now? Because at the end of the day, a process has to take place and it is the electorate that should decide who is their own uh, preferred candidate. And in this case, Edo people are standing solidly behind Governor Godwin Obaseki because he has done a lot for the state like no other uh, governor has done in recent times. And we want to see him continue to deliver the dividends of democracy to the people. Okay, that's, a, that's, a, that's the, I'm on, I understand Kazim is here with us now. Kazim, he has just told us that Edo people, they are behind Governor Godwin Obaseki, including your party, PDP. How true is that statement? Well, I can, I, I can only say, I'll uh, speak for myself. I am, I am not for Gordon Abbasaki. Whether he joins the PDP or not, I am not one of his fans, and I will not be. Uh, I, I am very conversant with the new state to be able to rationalize his performance vis-a-vis -vis what has been his... Uh, profile as a governor in the last uh, three years and just or four years now. Uh, it is easier for government apologies to praise and sing praises of a man, but of course, in my part of the state, I have not seen development that your speaker there, or your guest there is talking about. So uh, if you want to join the PDP, is very free. It is a constitutional right, uh, but joining to contest the governorship is what I personally will not work on. Okay, uh, because uh, I'm a bit surprised. If you were not in PDP, what would be wrong in supporting a man you both worked in the same administration? Uh, are you saying that while he was there with the, with go the former governor, uh, Oshomole, there was nothing good about him? It is not about something good. It's about how you are able to dispense with power, political power. How you are able to distribute power. How you are able to impart on life of the people. How you are able to fulfill the collective aspirations of the people when the aggregate viewpoint is put before uh, the, the, the public. I, it, there is no man that is bad. There is no man that is good. You just have to take a look at the good side and the bad side and weigh the options. That is the only way you can be measured, you know, by God. So for me, I am not an ambassador fan, whether today or tomorrow. And I will not be because I was an eyewitness in 2015. And I, I followed through the process that brought him on board as a governor. The kind of actions that he has taken the last four years are not actions that I want to celebrate in any man who got power to that particular person. So all that I won't say. What, what do you mean by the kind of actions? A lot of people have mentioned the sins of Obaseki and nothing has to do with governance. It's about not being loyal to the Godfather, not, you know, uh, 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 um, inaugurating members of the House of Assembly, taking the party to the court. I've not heard about the scene of governance. It's all these all this things you mentioned. Are they not governance? 
He denied my, my, my own local government rep from participating in lawmaking process for the state in the last one year. I want me to be clapping for him. Those 14 lawmakers are representing 14 local governments. My community is in Shambhul. My community is coming. He came to my village to promise that he was going to construct the road in my village. He hasn't done that. The road that was, that the road that was not completed by Adam He told me that he was going to complete the road. Up to now, he hasn't done that. He took two hours to tell my people. I want me to be clapping for him. Some other person can okay. tell the him, but I will not. Okay, let's, let's, let's see how true that uh, statement is. He said... There is no governance in place. No, what, what I'm going to say first, let me respond to the question of loyalty. When people have elected the governor to govern the affairs of the state, who is the loyalty of the governor supposed to be to? Is it to a few um, politicians within the state or is it to the majority of the people, the people that elected him to be there in the first place? We need to be very careful when we bandy words. As a, an elected governor, your first responsibility, your first loyalty is to the people that you have been elected to govern. So their interests should reign supreme above any personal interest. Now, in the cases of the... Uh, Governance, what has he done? Of course, the, 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 the records are there for all to see. Education in Edo states is on another level compared to most of the other states in the country right now. Teachers have been taken through trainings that have changed the face of education in the state such that every uh, person at primary level now, within a very short time because of the changes that have been instituted, can stand with counterparts anywhere in the world. The model that the governor has developed in Edo State in partnership with um, institutions like the Bridge Academies, which is known for uh, delivering quality education, add value to the people, are there. So when you see things like this, performance records like this, go to agriculture and see what he's doing with the Agripreneur Program. How many hectares of land has been awarded to young people who are willing to young, young farmers, okay, Tony, SMEs? Tony, let's wait for the general election before you can do that. But Having said that, let's now look at party politics. You have to be a candidate before you become a governor. Definitely. So, in clear terms, because of time, which party do you, will you recommend? Because from the body language of Mr. Kazim Afwegba, who is a member of PDP, he said he's welcome to come and support the party and not necessarily be the candidate. Unlike Mr. Afwegba, I am not um, a member of any party yet. I am just an Edo person, an Edo professional who is concerned about the affairs of the state. It doesn't matter to me which platform and to a lot of Edo people home and abroad, the members of the I Am Edo movement, it does not matter under which platform the governor is performing. He has done enough to earn a second Sorry, term. can I quickly say this? When you say, it, when you say it does not matter because of yes. time, when you say it does not matter as we speak, Probably the parties that are governing in Nigeria are not more than three or four. Talking about Abga, talking about PDP, talking about APC. And you say it doesn't matter if he joins PDP no, or... What, what I mean is, I, my loyalty is not to any party. Okay. And for many of us in Edo, we're, we, we're not concerned about all of this politics. We just want to see good governance delivered to the people. Okay. Anybody that can deliver that, as Governor Baseke has demonstrated over the last three years, deserves to be supported. And this is what all of us well-meaning of Edo should do. And this is what the I Am Edo movement will use its sweat and blood to pursue, to see that the good works that the governor is doing for the majority of Edo people, because all he is doing is for the people of Edo, continues instead of uh, allowing acclaimed godfathers or entitled politicians to come and derail the progress that okay. has been made uh, in the uh, state. Kazim, uh, uh, yeah. I don't know whether yeah. you're aware, as we speak, we saw the governor visiting Governor Wike, and we also saw the body language of the likes of Governor Okoa. What will happen if he's finally been made or he emerges as a candidate of PDP? Will you change your stand or you'll stand by him? Uh, uh, very, very quickly, let me say that... Uh, the idea of somebody talking about the federalism flies in the face of logic. 
and the narrative that is presently factorizing the politics of those states. The fact is, a lot of people labor tirelessly to best this governorship. And those people deserve to participate in the government by way of inclusion and not exclusion. What, what does that he is mean work. by participating? Is he sharing the money? I will allow you to respond just because of time. That you don't sit back and tell me that education in Nigeria State is an El Dorado. I am talking to you from Okwela, my community. The school beside my house has four teachers from GSS 1 to SS 3. We have not been able to recruit teachers that will teach relevant subjects in the school. And you tell me about education and you say they have been an El Dorado. I call that both straight. I have a democracy. Please, you have to, you have to watch your language. <laughs> Mr. Kazim, you have to watch your language. You're on national so please, and, in fact, international TV why station. You are coming on air, now with statistics and facts and data that are verified. I will have four, four secondary schools in my community. The other secondary school, we have three teachers, one house two teachers, one okay, house four, and one another house three. Kazim, Kazim, it's obvious that this conversation will not end here. Please, don't worry. Kazim. I would really like to respond to You will be allowed to respond. That question of education. Because I don't want him to feed the listeners You will be allowed to respond. You will be allowed to respond. I promise you. I promise you. Because all he's saying are lies. Tony. Because the facts are there. The World Bank has commended the governor. The Nigerian Union of Teachers has commended him. As a matter of fact, Lagos State wait, Government, wait, that is usually a model for other states, has decided to um, take the model that is currently in place okay. in education Tony, and replicate it Tony, in is, Lagos. Please, can you that do me a, a favor? Can we just have 15, 15 seconds to make... Uh, okay, let me make it 20 seconds to make your final comment. Let me start with you, Kazim. You see... Uh, well, they decide the government is going around to meet uh, people. He has the right to go, to go around to even join the PDP and all that. But there's a process for emerging a candidate of a party. Presently, he has not bought the form of PDP. We are pretty aspirants. On Friday, it's our primary, and the candidate will emerge. And when the candidate emerges, I want to express that we are going to pursue that candidate aspiration with the other people. So whatever words you want to use, in so far it does not offend the laws and the constitution of the PDP, that's all well and good. But for now, I don't know how possible that is, except he wants to be a cash and carry me. Fortunately for you, I will still come back to you. My producer has given me extra minute. Quickly react to this. No, oh, but I mean, the, the point I've been making from the start is the same. Governance should be about the people. Now, my message is to all Edo people out there that the time has come for us to take our own destiny in our hands. We cannot continue to sit on the sidelines and watch as a few thieving politicians brazenly plunder our commonwealth when uh, education before now was wallowing, the healthcare system was in shambles, he was saying that nothing has been done, but this, this is not true. Because like I mentioned, the, even the World Bank has recognized the work of Governor Basweki in the, in, in, with regards to education. He has been commended for that. The Nigerian Union of Teachers has also commended him. In fact, this whole uh, transformation in the education system started with the reconstitution of the Edo Subeb and the trainings that have gone on for the teachers. Now, many people view uh, governance and accomplishment based on tarring roads and all of that. Governor Obaseki is moving governance and the dividends of democracy beyond all of those things. Okay. He's concerned it's about systemic it's changes important that I, and he's doing all of it's that. It's important that, that I, I quote in here so that you can still have room to round off. Do you have a contrary opinion? Let's also look at Friday is here. Are you saying that there is no room for Baseki to try his lot, Mr. Kazim. Please, uh, let, let, I would, I would have loved to be at your studio <laughs> to look at the face of that man speaking and let, let him speak to me and come. But that is just so much. He's just being a public relations hub. 
I am telling you, based on verifiable statistics, what obtains in education. Let him quote you are sitting there like any word bank. I will quote your Australia statistics, Mr. Febwa. Quote your statistics. Don't stop misinforming the people. What stop what acting on sentiments. Quote your statistics. Please, please listen to me. I have given you statistics. Four schools are in my village, and the four schools send both of 10 teachers. All the four. So don't, don't come here and preach to me about let it, what let you You will have the opportunity many, to talk. How many hospitals have combated this duty in the last four years? How many hospitals have seen duty in the last four years? How, how many, how, how, how many secondary have seen the duty? Okay. What are we talking about here? Thank if you, thank you, Kazim. Please stop, don't be short part. Thank you, Kazim. All these celebrations, all these social media celebrations, all those uh, internal celebrations does not apply to Thank you, Kazim. Trust me, what the conversation will different. continue on all our social media platforms. A lot of people will react, and you can also join us by subscribing on our YouTube channel. I'm sure a lot of people will want to engage you furthermore. <laughs> Same to you, Tony. Thank you once again, Kazim Afegba, for your time. We quite appreciate it, and we look forward to you coming to our studio. Okay, quickly, you have 30 seconds to make your final comment. Yeah, my final comment is this. This is to the people of Edo State, especially the youth. We cannot continue to sit on the sidelines. We are a demographic majority. We cannot let a minority decide our fate. It is time for us to galvanize ourselves and our people and come out and show that power in a democracy actually belongs to us, the people. And this is what the I Am A Do movement is about. It's about the ordinary man on the street. Okay. It is not about politicians anymore. Tony, it is about us, I want to believe that that was not a coincidence to say power belongs to the people. Because that sounds like the PDP mantra. But we'll find out where the governor will be going. And thank you once again, Tony Usidame, thank you the for convener having me. of I Am A Do movement. Thank you for staying with us, our viewers. We will take our plots report now. And when we return, I will be giving you my take, especially on this matter. Stay with us. The Nigerian Senate has raised an alarm over the fear of food security due to the increasing attacks on farming communities in the north by bandits and terrorists allegedly belonging to the Boko Haram sect, an Islamic state for West Africa. Senator Ahmed Lawan, the president of the Senate, said there is a need to take urgent and drastic action aimed at curbing the attacks and restoring peace to the North. He also added that terrorism and banditry have become a lucrative industry for gun runners and criminal elements. These attacks are becoming very worrisome in view of the fact that the Nigerian armed forces recently started recording successes in the fight against insurgency. Further alarm that these attacks, which have led to the massacre of hundreds of people, also includes other heinous acts such as cattle rustling, kidnapping and adoption, and forceful displacement of people from, from their ancestral communities. Senate is also concerned that with the coming of the rains and farming season, the land is terribly insecure and marauding, with marauding insurgents at bay. The consequences of food shortage can better be imagined. I think you need to see the president and, in fact, talk one on one on these issues because this war or this challenge of security is doable. We can do it. These bandits are somewhere in the north. The north is not like the forest in the south. Boko Haram, yes, in the Lake Chad fringes, you have, it's an open place. You can see the bandits there. In Gubio that they attack, if you go there, it's a desert. And as the report came, they were there for six hours. So, Mr. President, please go take a step further, and I will, I will amend the prayers, if allowed by my colleagues, so that you sit down with Mr. President and get know what, is, what, what they want, so that we can have a timeline Give the security agencies what they need and let us get this because it is getting to a very embarrassing level. And here is my take. Is it about who blinks first or it should be about the interest of 5 million Edo residents 
in whose interest is the struggle for the control of the state machinery. As the primary elections of various parties approach, let it be about contestations of ideas, manifestos that will benefit the larger mass. Who is capable of taking a dough from the different devastating erosions? Who is capable of changing the narrative of the adult state from some stereotypic images of robbery and prostitution to a hub of smart, intelligent and creative minds? Who is capable of truly and genuinely salvaging the state from the looters who pretend to be leaders? These are the questions I propose should guide the voting population at the general election. And that is my take on Plus Politics, as Plus Politics returns tomorrow evening with more interesting discussions. Until then, remember to keep safe. Have a good evening. I am Coyote Ladeindi, saying bye.